we have k times k times k minus k times k this is equal to 100 so what is the value of k given that k is not equal to zero so let's provide a solution from here now k times k times k this is k to the power of three subtract k times k this is k to the power of two this is equal to 100 the next step to do here let's take 100 on the left hand side so that we have k to the power of 3 subtract k to the power of 2 minus 100 this is equal to 0 now we have k to the power of 3 subtract k to the power of 2 minus 100 100 is the same thing as 125 subtract 25 this is equal to 0. So here we have k to the power of 3 minus k to the power of 2 subtract 125 then plus 25. This is equal to 0. Now we have k to the power of 3 subtract k to the power of 2 subtract 125. This is the same thing as 5 to the power of 3 then plus 25, which is 5 to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. Now, we have k to the power of 3 here, and we have 5 to the power of 3 here. So we can express this as k to the power of 3 minus 5 to the power of 3. Then we have minus k to the power of 2 plus 5 to the power of 2. This is equal to zero now from here we have k to the power of three minus five to the power of three subtract we can express this as into the parentheses this is the same thing as k to the power of two minus five to the power of two this is equal to zero because you see minus times minus five to the power of two this is the same thing as plus five to the power of two so we have two parts here. The first part is the difference of two cubes expressed as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. The second part here, this is the difference of two perfect squares expressed as a to the power of 2 minus b to the power of 2. So this implies that here we have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. This is the same thing as a minus b then a squared plus ab plus b squared. Applying this identity, then we have k to the power of 3 minus 5 to the power of 3. This is the same thing as k minus 5. Then here we have k squared plus 5k, then plus 5 squared, which is 25 cross the parentheses let's call this equation one and then we have that the second part here is the difference of two perfect squares that is a squared minus b squared which we can express as a plus b multiplied by a minus b and this implies that here k squared subtract five squared this is the same thing as k plus 5. Then we have k minus 5. Let's call this equation 2. So let's combine equation 1 and 2. Now let's combine equation 1 and 2 so that we have k minus 5. Here we have k squared plus 5k plus 25. Then subtract, here we have k plus 5, then k minus 5, this is equal to 0. Now, if you check here, k minus 5 is common here, so we can factor out k minus 5. Into the parentheses, here we have k squared plus 5k plus 25. 
then we have subtract k plus 5 this is equal to 0 so this means we have k minus 5 this is k squared plus 5k plus 25 minus k minus times plus 5 this is minus 5 cross the parentheses this is equal to 0 so we have k minus 5 then here we have k squared then we have 5k minus k this is plus 4k then plus 25 minus 5 this becomes plus 20 this is equal to 0 so we have two parts here the first part is k minus 5 this is equal to 0 and the second part here is k squared plus 4k plus 20 this is equal to 0 from the first part here we have that k1 is equal to 5 k1 is equal to 5 on the second part here this is a quadratic equation of the form a k squared plus b k plus c this is equal to 0 from this quadratic equation we have a is equal to 1 b is equal to 4 and that c is equal to 20 so we can solve for k2 comma k3 by applying the quadratic formula which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac everything here divided by 2 times a substituting the values of a b and c then we have minus 4 plus or minus the square root of now we have 4 squared subtract 4 times a which is 1 then times c which is 20 everything here divided by 2 times 1 so we have here this is minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 4 squared this is 16 minus 20 times 4 this is equal to 80 everything here divided by 2 now here we have minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 80 this is minus 64 everything here divided by 2 now we can express the square root of minus 64 as minus 4 plus or minus now this is the same thing as the square root of 64 multiplying by negative 1 everything here divided by 2 so here we have minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 64 this is 8 then square root of minus 1 this is i then divided by 2 in the numerator here we find that 2 is common here so we can factor out 2 into the parentheses we have minus 2 plus or minus 4i everything here divided by 2 so 2 and 2 here simplifies so that now we have that k2 comma k3 this is equal to minus 2 plus or minus 4i and therefore we have that k2 is equal to 2 that is minus 2 plus 4i and we have that k3 is equal to minus 2 subtract 4i so these are two complex solutions these are two complex solutions for this algebra problem we only have only one real solution which is k1 which is equal to 5 so the next step is to verify so let's verify that this k1 which is code 5 satisfies the equation now we have that k multiplied by k multiplied by k subtract k times k 
this is supposed to give us a value of 100. So this is 5 multiplied by 5, multiplied by 5, subtract 5 times 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 100. So this is 125, subtract 5 times 5, which is 25. This is supposed to give us a value of 100. So this is 125 minus 25, which is equal to 100. And this is equal to 100. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that k1, which is equal to 5, satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel so that you can get notified whenever we upload new videos. See you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.